No! What time is it? Is that AM or PM? Why is she not here? Oh man. She be here. It's sunny, it's morning. Why is she not here? Thank you. I'll do some gardening for now. I don't know why she's not here. That doesn't make any sense. So that's a loco and four cars. She should have been there by now. I'm sure she starts at like 8 a.m. Or maybe it's 9. No, you can't ride, you can't ride the train. You can't go anywhere near it. Yeah, I'm hungry. It's not coming. Okay, we'll wait till nine. I'm gonna knit for a bio. Eight till four. I thought it was eight till four. Donnie's just, yeah, he just popped in. As he came back in, he sort of barked at me and followed me in, so he's sat in his box now. Welcome back. 
Looks like none didn't appear. Uh, BJ Weiler, welcome back. Thank you, Battery H, for gifting us up. Hmm, I don't get why none's not here. Oof. So need the new dumpers. get that kind of timing very often. Look how bouncy it is, it's just insane. Get these bottles out the back. It'll probably go in the van when we do this. Let's put them in the back now. You've just noticed teeth brushing simulator. Really? Somebody's having a laugh at that. Yeah, so that one has got kill you in it. The ones we got from the tip didn't. That one does. I don't know if we should actually sell that or just drink it. I suspect if you sell it now, then that's when he freaks out and slashes your tires. Why were you closed?
Can you hide your wheels? Mm. The only way, if you sell him dodgy stuff, the only way to avoid him coming over and slashing your tires is to just not take the phone call. <coughs> wow, something's making me sneeze. Yeah, they're not really sims. I agree. Okay. Might as well put the rest of this in the truck because the truck's got red diesel in it anyway, so does it make any difference? No, I'm not getting sick, Anna. There's just something like, I don't know, something flout. It might be because Doll's turned up. I don't know. Because Doll, because the problem is Doll like rolls around in the grass and stuff. And then he comes in here and then probably just lets a lot of pollen dust into the air or something. How much do you weigh now? Have you been putting on weight? Um, you can go and have a look. I think to put weight on in the game, you have to eat, and then your hunger bar goes, and then, like, eat again, I think. I used to have some of these jerry cans, Ruben. I mean, if you look at the size of it relative to that, they are actually quite big. You might get, like, I don't know, six of these into that tank. They are pretty big. I can't remember how many litres they used to be. Is it 30 or something? Quite a bit. I don't know. Uh, let's put that in there for now. Is it 20? Well, yeah. The ones I had were pretty big. I used to fill my bike with them. I, when I used to fill my bike with it, my Honda Fireblade, I could get, I could fill a tank twice off one of them. I remember that much, because when the, um, when the fuel strikes were on in the, when was that? Early two thousands, like two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand something like that. There was like a a tanker strike, tanker driver strike in the UK. I remember it. And nobody could drive. Like, there were massive queues at all the fuel stations. And I basically bought some jerry cans and went and filled them up. And that kept me going for, like, two weeks. <laughs> so I could get to work. And everybody else was really struggling to get into work. We just drank a lot of Kill You, that's why. Well, I, the thing is, Bowman's, I was self-employed, so if I couldn't get to work, I didn't get paid. <laughs> yeah, so I had to be in work. One way or another, I had to get to work. So, you know, I was biking into work at the time, but obviously without fuel, you can't bike it in. So I bought some uh, big jerry cans, and that solved the problem for me. It was just a bit of a pain refueling the bike, like, because you had to do it in the garage. So you had to have like a, a funnel and tip it in and all that, but it worked. You do what you got to do. Oh God, I don't even want to think about fitting this thing. Can we, can we possibly do it without taking the engine out, do you think? Because we've had the side of the... What have we done before? I'm trying to think. I mean, the gearbox is over there, isn't it? Is it not possible to just pop? Because in this game, you can do a lot of stuff without taking the engine out. So I'm thinking maybe we can hack it out of the... 
take off the, the appropriate bolts and get it out. Are fuel efficient to bikes? Um, compared to cars, they're pretty efficient because they're only like, they're not even a litre often. You know, 700, 500 to 1,000 cc engines, but it obviously depends how you drive them. Pretty stressful, James. <laughs> yeah, it's us getting Trey's trying to fix it at the moment. Apparently there's a web socket not working. So let's think about this. So whereabouts is the flywheel? I'm trying to remember. Is it behind here? Behind the gearbox? I don't want to take the wrong side of the engine off. I need to look at the build guide to remember. Tax the crankshaft with six, seven mil bolts. Can we do it just, just popping the inspection cover off, do you think? This thing. Can you swap it out by doing that? Well, I'll leave the toolkit then. Ay, 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 ay. Bob Monkhouse, I bet he drinks Carlin Black Label. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. I remember those adverts, Bob. What is the, um... There it is. Happy anniversary, Nutter. I really wish I hadn't drunk that kill, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mega fan! Thank you for eleven months. Right, let's see what we got here. I love the way stuff just randomly falls on the floor. Right, inspection cover. Uh, let's see. Everything about this car is rusty. So what do we need to remove in order to get it out of there? That's the question. Like, can we just pop these bolts here and remove that? Because it looks like 
Like, to take that out, you'd have to pull it all the way off the spindle, wouldn't you? IRL. I reckon we need to start by removing this then. So what's the point of the inspection cover then? Jump in and glitch through it. Yeah. Well, it depends if you can remove it, doesn't it? Is it this what we're um, replacing here? Is that the flywheel there with the teeth on it? Well, that's not six mil. Oh, God. So if we was to unscrew these, I wonder if he could just like, to be six seven mil bolts how many have we done one, one two Gonna find another three around here somewhere, right? Is that probably one though? Trying to think about where they would be. It's one there, one there. Use worse than I thought it would be. Come on, get in the engine bay. It's not coming off. 
Turn over the engine. You really think that's a good idea right now? Nothing's going to pop off, though. So maybe we can't just glitch that out. If you'd taken the gearbox out, you'd have been done by now. I doubt that. <laughs> I'm thinking you can't just glitch it out of there. You've got to take off some of this drive gear. So let's do that. Something's Let's get rid of the drive gear. Something else was removable then. See? Clutch clover plate. Okay, they reckon they're like sevens or something. It's on screw, but it doesn't want to come off. I think we have to take this off as well, I'd guess. All right, firefighters, see in a bit. You didn't point the dot on the flywheel. I didn't point the dots on the flywheel. I don't know what that means. You pointed at the gearbox. It still won't come off. Time and dots on the flywheel needs to be pointed to a mark. You think we have to take off the starter before we can get this off? Remove the starter motor, maybe. You can what? Turn the flywheel. I think we should disconnect the battery and then remove the starter motor, possibly. It certainly looks like you can't just glitch things out anyway. Oh my god, what size are these? I think it's bigger for some reason. Uh, let me 
Which cruise has this got on it? It's like one on the other side or something. That the other one. Isn't like three on it? Is like the one here or something like that? Seems to me there's two holding it on there, and then there's like another cheeky one somewhere. Two sevens. Well, I've just done two sevens there, and that's not that's not working. That was quick. This is sick. Cool. Looks like the right one. Awesome. So how come the starter motor doesn't want to come off then? Or maybe it does. Just the wrong bit. Happy anniversary, Nata. Okay, starter's off. That's good. What can we do over here then? Oliver Rick, thank you for three months. And a new nut. Uh, there's one holding the wire on top of the cylinder. Oh, no, it's it's off. I think that just attaches the cable in, I think, to the battery. But I can't remove anything yet. But I can spin that around. Now that the starter's off. So what's missing here then? Can we don't do these bolts as well, do you think? These bolts on the end here, possibly. Because that won't come off. Well, all we're trying to do is replace the uh, flywheel. Six, seven mil bolts and one ten mil bolt. Is that the, um, is that the six that I did? So I've done six of them. Where's the 10 mil bolt then? Is that in the middle? Where's the 10 mil bolt? I've got the six sevens. I couldn't replace a file. We'll end up taking the entire engine out and removing the gearbox. Oh, I don't want to do that. Lower middle of engine block below headers. I thought we'd done the bolts on the flywheel. We've taken the starter out already. Black Falcon, thank you for 34 months. After removing the engine, I quit without saving because it was a million pieces. <laughs> Rage quit. Uh, NASCAR fan, thank you for 43 months. I'm sorry all the chat and notifications are broken at the moment, guys. Mr. Dre's trying to fix it. Okay, I'd say we're a bit stuck here. 
I'd say we're a bit stuck. I'm just going to start taking bolts off and hope that this fixes it. problem is right click on the flywheel even if there isn't an icon I can't even find the option for the flywheel there is there's the option for the flywheel I'll right click and nothing happens Um, the flywheel's there to give momentum, from what I understand. So, are we saying this is just not possible then? In which case, I'd be better off just putting the car back together, right? You have to go under the car. To do what exactly? So what are we looking for? The 10 mil bolt? Hey, Ozzy, not bad, mate. I don't know, Daniel. Somebody said you have to be under the car to do to remove it, and I'm like, what are we looking for? No answer. <laughs> I kind of get a feeling people are guessing, so I'm just going to reassemble the car, I think. Oliver Rick, thank you for three months. Or maybe I'll just find a guide. Hang on. Racing flywheel. Racing flywheel is a car park we bought from the parts department. Uh, Attached to the crankshaft with seven, six, seven mil bolts. The racing flower introduces notable change in the engine response. The task may seem daunting, but it won't take more than a few minutes to install. Possibly the quickest method of installing the flywheel is as follows. Remove three 11 mil bolts that connect the block and the gearbox to the subframe and detach the engine. Most parts will remain in their connected states, even if they aren't connected to the car, but it might still be a good idea to properly detach the engine. Remove all seven bolts in the gearbox. There are six, seven mil bolts on the passenger side. 110 bolt near the center. Attach the gearbox. Blimey. That's a completely different way of doing it. That involves effectively hacking the engine off.
Well, it basically says it'll take a few minutes. <laughs> I've been on this for ages and I feel like we've made it worse. Chats and events are currently broken. There's nothing wrong with the flywheel. We're trying to replace it for the uh, race one. I'm just going to put the car back together and then try and follow that guide through and do it that way. The big problem here is I might forget something. <laughs> This is why sometimes when you go to the mechanic, it costs a fortune. Because, like, the part's not expensive, but getting to the part is. <laughs> now, the racing flywheel basically makes the car rev quicker because it has a lot less weight to it. So the engine spins, it, like the rear RPMs go vroom, 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 as opposed to vroom, like that. Like, that's what the flywheel does. Yeah, I know you can do it with the editor. I don't really want to do that. I don't think you get, there's no kind of learning, is there, if you do that. I don't mind editing some stuff, but I'd, I'd prefer to know how to do this, I think. I mean, I have done it before. It's just that it's so long ago. You just completely forget. Is that a seven or not? Uh, see you later, Neko. Right, do we do we think that's all of it, or have we missed anything? Obviously, the battery's not in yet. What do you think? You bought the racing flywheel before you started assembling the car. How much is the racing flywheel again? I'm trying to think how much money you'd have to have to do it right at the start of the game. Fifteen hundred. You start the game with three thousand. There's a bunch of things that you need to get. That's that's a big investment, but yeah. Start and need rewiring. Don't think it does, does it? I think it just keeps all its wiring. Uh, that that doesn't look good. <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh my god. Something got missed. Oh, 
Uh oh. That's just gone. Uh, right, so. One, two, three, four, five, six bolts that I obviously missed. I should have done this before I um, put the starter back on. Just missing one at the moment. There he is. On screen chat is back. Uh, okay, let me quickly refresh my page, see if I can get mine back. Is it working? Are you sure? Hang on. It's not, it's not working yet for me. Right, I think that was all of them anyway. Hopefully. So I think the car's back. That was meant to be. Yeah, looks like we do have to restart the one, rewire the starter. that go to you want to take good care of you yeah that's what she does bring us the food that's really weird hang on 
Das ist auch so This warning thing is so annoying. See negative terminal. Why don't you wire in? No, I just want to get the car working again, Bob, and then we'll follow that guide through. It's only the bolt and the starter. Good call. You do, don't you? You have to loosen the bolt and the starter to fit it. That does it, doesn't it? Just one little, I think. I think that's wired in. <sighs> Actually, Mikey, yes, there is PO box, mate. Um, I don't know who it's from, Mikey, but there is definitely PO box. Interesting. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it, bring it into the editor and do a report on the bolts. And I'm also going to have some food. So that's going to be going off for a minute. I've got Whiteland's favourite. Fish, cake, and rice. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Satsuma report fixed, uh, no loose bolts, no stuck parts, nothing damaged. All good. You believe it's for me? Please can you open it tonight so I can watch it tomorrow? Can't watch tomorrow. Mikey, is it from... Um is it an Amazon thing, Mikey? Yeah. It's from you, then. I'll have my food. And then uh, I'll open it. I doubt we'll get a call in the night. If we do get a call in the night, we'll have to go in the van. But I don't think we will get a call. And to be honest, I can't exactly drive anyway because I'm trying to eat food. I noticed the um, the boat has stopped. There he is. 
I'm trying to work out what the guy's schedule is. I wish you could spray other things in the engine bay. That's true, Bob. I could just pull the phone out. <laughs> Welcome back to today. And the GT cover, <clears throat> the GT cover and the wheel, I think you find down the side of Fleetari, if I remember. Um, it's not a bad time, I'm just eating. No, I'm eating. My in-game carrots are urinating. fish cake with sweet chili sauce on top and tomato rice Do you remember last week those of you who were watching last week we saw UFOs in the sky. Do you remember that? We saw Boatman for the first time, and then UFOs appeared in the sky. Has anybody read anything about that on the wiki or in the Discord or anything? Like, is that a thing he put in the game? Looks like Dre fixed it. Yay. Yay for Dre. Let me get some GGs in chat for Dr. Dre. He's visiting his mum and he's cracked out his laptop and solved it for us. The web sockets just randomly closed. Um, Bob, if you want to go and look at the um, stream on Squirrel Plus, you can visibly see the UFOs. There was like three white points of light, and then one shot over here, and then it shot there, and it was so weird.
Yeah, the boat sort of slows down. Sometimes he stops and then he'll zoom off again. It says the UFO lights are part of a paranormal activity which is not harmful to the player. Yet. Is what it should say, Bigfoot. Yet. Almost everything that he adds into this game is harmful to the player. So you can bet he will be harmful to the player at some point. And so will the UFO. Maybe he'll put some kind of UFO event in there where aliens come and visit you. I wish you could get the chainsaw, Heyman. Maximum in the hormone. That's a weird name. Welcome to the Nuthouse, sir. Make sure we get a good night's sleep. Top of 2016, lol, there are no ghosts. Those are bugging because unfinished door optimization change. There are no jump scares in this game. I hate those. I would disagree with them. The first time I stepped through the door and opened this door and there were police there, that was a jump scare. Jordi Raccoon, thank you for the bits. Gonna use this card you mentioned earlier in the stream as the car keeps going on fire when I try and start it. If you're gonna use the guard, you need to do it from scratch, really. Or work it through, figure it out, or bring it into the editor and tell it to fix parts on it. That's the cheap way of doing it. Murphy's Revenge, thank you for seven months. Right then. Let me text Mr. Squirrel and see if I can get that, that PO box in. Oh, 
Right. Let's see what the guide says. It says the task may seem daunting, but it won't take more than a few minutes. A few minutes. Possibly the quickest method of installing a flywheel is as follows. Remove all three 11 mil bolts that connect the block and gearbox to the subframe. Okay. question is where about to there is that one that's probably one that's probably two where's the third one gonna be Two at the front, one at the back. Some, is that it? <clears throat> that looks like it's probably it. And detach the engine. Most parts will remain in the connected states, even if they aren't connected to the car. It might still be a good idea to properly detach the engine. I mean, we could just bring the winch over, couldn't we? Yeah. I'm sure that'll help. Welcome back, Nutta. Uh, Lauren C. Lauren Z. Welcome back. Well, yeah, in theory, but I mean, this winch is an absolute pain to connect this engine. It really is. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. You hear that tink that means that means we got lucky although i can't remember the size of the bolt that needs to go on here <laughs> uh. right so that's the engine on the hoist <clears throat> I think it's that one, but that is a guess. Oof. I'd say it was a very, very good idea to put that on the hoist. <laughs> I can't imagine if, if we'd have not done that, 
Would have had an engine on the floor. Yeah, that would have been a bit of a mess. I mean, the guide doesn't even say that. It just says... It might be a good idea to properly detach the engine. That's all it says. It doesn't mention the hoist. Just it might be a good idea to properly detach the engine. <laughs> Thanks. You got a message? No. Oh, I said, can I have a cup of tea in the P.O. box? <gasps> right. Remove all seven bolts on the gearbox. There are six 7 mil bolts on the passenger side and one 10 mil bolt near the center next to the alternator. Six 7 mil bolts on the passenger side. So I think that's probably the... Does it include? <laughs> Does it include those two? I can't find that many. Right, I've got the so PO box. box. Huh? Uh, yeah, because it says on it PO box, and it's from uh, Amazon. I've got the wrong screen. Sorry, 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 sorry. Wrong screen hype. Wrong screen hype. Wait for chat kicking off now. Right. This is what we've got. Huh? Santa has been and dropped off a big sack. Let's say it says, um,. Dear Squirrel, it's certainly been... Oh, it's not breakable. Did that say fragile? Did that say fragile? It did. Santa said he doesn't bounce. Don't send fragile things. Uh, it's certainly been hot in the UK this week, so I thought I would help uh, you something to help keep up the amazing work, and thank you once again. <laughs> For forming such an amazing community from Mikey Far. If that's a fan, I'm having dead. It was hard to read, Mikey, because there's like a white stripe. Like, I don't know if you'd see it or not. There's basically a white stripe right through the text where the print does not work properly. Amazon quality. Brush. Brush. Mine. It's, it's not Amazon. yours, it's mine. Prince Doyle. This is mine. King Doyle needs to be cool at all times. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's not what you think. And it's not fragile either. <coughs> Yay! <laughs> it's a massive bag of Yorkshire tea. <laughs> 600 tea bags. Mikey, well done, that, <laughs> that will last me about three weeks. <laughs> I like how you gift wrapped it, Mikey. That's Thank awesome, you. bro. I like how you had it gift wrapped. Sorry, dog, not for you. With a giant <laughs> Santa sack. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mikey. You know that's going to get you, sir. Here you go. GG, Mikey. If there's one thing that will get used, it's Yorkshire tea. <laughs> nice gift bag. Uh, Toon Dudette, you might want to go to squirrel.tv, click on my account, and change your um, chat colour to white. Just saying. Because you're on a grey at the moment. Unless you want it grey. It's up to you. You paid two ninety nine to gift wrap. No idea it would come in a sack. Yep, that massive bag with the thing on it. Thank you, Mikey. Much appreciated. Trotters, thank you, 42. Special Dragon, 23. Welcome back, guys. Kestrel, welcome back. 36 SOS smart or 36 so smart. Thank you for 16 months. Vortex, welcome back. Can I send you some PG tips? You can, Bob, but I'll give them to next door neighbour. <laughs> PG's not bad. I just prefer Yorkshire. Um, 
Okay, it says six, seven mil balls. One, two, threes. It must be those. Welcome back, Nutter. And one ten mil bolt near the center next to the alternator. If all the coolant's gonna fall out, that's interesting. I'll have to check all the levels. We need some custard creams. Well, I've got a little uh, little pie here. We gave a colleague a very proud Yorkshireman some Lancashire tea. Hmm, <laughs> apple. Yeah, you fixed it, tuned it up. Borima, welcome back. Where's this ten mil bolt? Welcome back, Nutter. Hmm. Six seven on the passenger side and one ten mil bolt near the center next to the alternator. Can't mean that. Orange arm on the other side. Low middle engine block. Right below headers. This one. Detach the gearbox assembly. Oh my god. As if. See if that actually works. 